Hey guys, just a quick video today. I'm going to show you how to burnish glitter onto gel polish and I'm going to do it into an ombre design. So when you're burnishing glitter into gel polish, you're literally just sticking it to the cured tacky layer. Um, so you want to do two coats of your chosen color. I've cured both of these in between and once it's cured then it's going to be dead sticky and that's exactly what you want so don't touch the gel polish. This is my favorite glitter. It's from Funky Sugar Glitter Mixes and it is called Glitzer Land. It's very very popular at Christmas time as you can imagine because it's like a holographic snowfall or something. Look at it over there sparkling away. I love this glitter. So I'm using a fluffy brush. I think these are typically like eyeshadow brushes or something, but I use it for glitter. So just get a little bit on the end of your brush like that and lay it at the top of the nail where the cuticle is. You can do it from the bottom as well, but it's much easier if you do it from the top. I'm not going to drag it down until I have all five fingers done. So I'm just going to lay it on there, press it down. Try not to touch any part of the nail with your brush that you want glitter to stick to because once you touch it, it won't be sticky anymore. So when you have it um, laid down, clean your brush off and then just drag your glitter down, pressing harder or softer depending on how much glitter you want on the nail. You can also do it like that. Just kind of swipe it down if you're pretty confident that you have the right amount of glitter at the cuticle. If you're not so confident, then just do it slowly it's super easy. This is a like a chunky mix glitter. It has fine glitter and super fine and some chunky. It works really well for this. So when you're done that, I, well yeah, clean off the excess glitter because you don't want to get it into your base coat. I always go over top of glitter with base coat first just so that it's sealed in and I don't contaminate my top coat. I have a separate base coat for this as well. When you've base coated it, you can go ahead and apply your top coat and then you're done. How easy is that? I hope this helped you. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching.